Why randy men, in quotes, fuck boys and runs girls might keep winning? Why are you looking at me? Are they not winning? If they are not winning, why do you keep complaining about them? Why do you keep falling victim? It is because they are intentional. Intentionality is what is making a lot of negativity win. It's because a lot of people who are negative are intentional. They take their time. They master what works and they use it. Many of you who are in marriages do not prepare. You do not plan. You just go there and expect magic to happen. Unfortunately, many marriages will never work because religion has brainwashed you to believing that things just happen. Miracle just happen. That is why it is called, that is why it's looking as if the sinners are always winning. It is because the sinners are more intentional than you. Let me tell you something. Intentionality is when you take your time to study something. And that is what they call research. You take your time and find out what works. The things that actually work are not the things that you double into. Anything that you double into is luck and you can lose it. Anything that you are lucky to get is something that you can be lucky to lose. But anything that you are intentional about is something that even when you lose it, you can get it back. Because you understand the strategy of getting that thing. It's like when you lose money and you are doing business. You will not be afraid because you are doing business. There's a place to get back that money. But when somebody dash you money and you don't have any source of income, you might want to die because you don't know if somebody else will dash you. Luck is different from intentionality. And marriage is not luck. I've heard many of you say, eh, it is God's wish. Marriage is by the grace of God. Marriage with all those things are just noise. The grace of God is there, but intentionality is what makes the grace of God work faster. Your work is to plan. Plan, and God will guide your plan. God do not plan for you. You plan, and he guide. When you plan, and God is guiding you, your plan might not work immediately. But you need to strategize your life, and God will come and perfect it. Your own is to plan. God's own is to perfect you can't be going into marriage with this noise and this sham. Marriage will happen. That's the reason why the randy men keep getting you. That's the reason why you keep falling for all these randy men. You're asking yourself, how did I get here? It's because these randy men are intentional. These wrongs guys are intentional. They know what you like. They have mastered it. No matter how you come and pretend and shout publicly, they know that you like sex. No matter how you lie, they know that you like sex. Stop lying. We know. So they have mastered it and know that all these ones you're doing is just hypocrites. You must learn how to be intentional. Intentionality simply means you are deliberate. You know what you are doing. You plan, you plot, you strategize, you win. Even if you fail when you are intentional, you can do that thing over and over again and get results. Even when you fail when you are intentional, you can strategize all over again. The reason why you, all of you used to fail Yakata is because you think that things just happen. Religion has messed with a lot of you's head and that's why your marriages do not work. It is religion that has made you feel that when you go to church, your marriage will work. You're going to church for your marriage to work, yet you're not talking to your husband, but you're talking to your pastor. You tell your pastor everything that your husband does not even know. You are complaining to a pastor about your husband, about a complaint. Some married women who go to church and complain to their pastors about their husbands, their husbands don't even know what they, what they did. You don't talk to your husband, but you want to talk to God. What are you expecting? The Holy Spirit will appear to your husband and, and minister to him what you prayed? No, it doesn't work that way. You're, wasting, you're making noise. Some of you are just noise makers. Prayers doesn't work that way. Some of you pray so much to God, but you don't talk to your husband. If you pray to God and you cannot communicate with the person you're married to, the marriage will not work. Before you pray, you communicate. That's the reason why it looks as if negativ negativity will continue to breed. Is because people who are negative are intentional. People who decide to be positive think that positivity just falls into their lap. No. Negative people are people who will plot and plan. A Yahoo boy will sit on his laptop for months to dupe a white woman. He's patient. He's intentional. He always have lights. He strategize. He knows where to sit down. He knows when she comes online. And that's the reason why he's going to get her. The, the, the white woman will not just give him money. It's because he has strategized and he will win. The same thing as armed robbers. 
They plot, they plan, they take their time, they master where they are going to steal from. But you that want that is positive, you want marriage to just happen, you want business to just happen, you want things to just happen, you can never win, you'll be a failure. Here is me reminding you guys that anything good that you want to get, you have to be intentional about it. I'm an intentional woman. For everything I do, I used to tell my audience, I'm intentional about it. There is nothing I want to pick my camera and do now that is a mistake. All my controversies, all my talk, they are intentional. I know what to say that will trigger the public. I know what to say that will go viral. I say them to pull your attention. I say them for you to talk because some of you have not talked in a while. Sometimes I trigger you for you to be able to communicate. I, I trigger you intentionally. I'm an intentional woman. It's because I have sat down and I have mastered the public. That's why I am out here. That's why you're watching me today. If you're not intentional, your marriage can never work. Magic. Marriage is not magic. Marriage is not miracle. Because if marriage was miracle, it is God that would have chosen that person you are married to. When God chose Eve for Adam, and, Eve ate, and Adam ate the, the fruits that, um, that um, Eve gave to him, what did he come and tell God? If you, had, if you read your Bible, God, it is the woman that you gave to me. God said, no problem. Adam, from today onward, mankind will choose who they want to marry. If marriage was a miracle, God will make choices for you. Marriage is not a miracle. That's the reason why you will choose yourself. And every responsibility that comes with that person that you have chosen, you will carry it on your head. That's why they say, take your time and make your choices. But you will make bad choices and be shouting, God, 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 and be expecting miracles to fall. Did God choose the man for you? If God have chosen the right man for you, now would you have agreed? If God have told you that it's that short man that is going to give you peace of mind, you will say, no, you are looking for cispac. You prefer the random one that has beard and that is bleaching. If God actually starts to choose husbands for us, we will reject it. If God starts to choose wife for you, you will reject it. What if God tell you that is that, that dwarf that will give you peace of mind, but you want big bum bum, and you want big, you will not still listen to God. You will choose the big bum bum and choose the big breast and be waiting for miracle. It doesn't work that way. Stop letting religion brainwash you. Put in work. Be an intentional woman. Be an intentional man. Read book. Do research. Visit a therapist. If you don't know things about marriage, and that's the reason why we are here, for awareness. Some of you are ignorant. You think marriage is magic. Every time robot, saka, 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 saka. What are you making noise for? If you want to worship God, worship God. If you want to speak in tongues because God has been good to you, speak in tongues because God has been good to you, not because you made bad choices. And it's for every time you make a bad choice that you go to church and be shouting, Rabba, soko, 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 soko. But when you are committing fornication, when they are knocking you, pa, 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 when you are doing all those bad things you are doing, smoking, shisha, doing, committing all those atrocities, you don't do Rabba, saka, saka, saka. But it's when you make bad choices, you go to church and start to disturb God in the name of uh, you, are, you, are, you are religious. If you don't want to be a noisemaker in church, make right choices so that when you go to church and you want to pray, you pray for the right things. You go there and you thank God for giving you life. You go there and you thank God for, 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 in fact, I don't even know what to say. You put hide under religion. Religion does not make your marriage work. And that's why a lot of fake prophets these days are beginning to use many of you called women. You want fruit of the womb, you rush to pastor. You don't know where they are doing surrogacy. You don't know where they are doing a lot of things in the hospital. That there are lots of things you can do. You can do to have children. It's your pastor giving children. You're going for your pastor to pray for you to have kids. Ignorance. All you need to do is go and work hard and save money. You can do in mutual fertilization. There are lots of things you do these days to get kids. If your womb have a problem, you can get a surrogate to carry children for you. What are you talking about? If your husband have low sperm count or he's having any sperm problem, there are lots of things to do. But no, your laziness. Makes you run to religion. Seke, 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 just because you don't want to be intentional. Seke, 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 just because you don't want to think, you don't want to reason. A lot of you don't use your head. Sit down. Strategize. For you to make marriage work, you must talk. If not, you see all these randy men. You see all these runs girls. They will keep winning. You will fight battle. You will be tired of fighting battle. This battle you are fighting, you have not even started. If you continue with this mindset that you have, you are going to fight a lot of battle. Hey, you have not even started. Go and buy a gun. Buy cutlass. Because you will fight. So they... And fight is death. How long do you want to keep fighting? Some of you are fighting, fighting fruitless battles. Some of you are fighting where there is no war. Some of you, there is no war. You are just fighting yourself. You are fighting your ignorance. It's time for you to wake up. Accept this fuck boys. This randy man. This one's girls who keep winning. You will just be there and be fighting. They will collect your husbands. They will collect your girlfriends. They will collect your wives. 
you will just be there making animals. They will collect everything from you because they are intentional. They, are, they strategize, they plan. Please. It's time for us to look inward. Let's be intentional. Let's sit down. Let's understand what works. Let's do research. Let's find out the things that have made other people to fail. Let's pay attention. If people like us are coming to talk, you hear people saying, um, she's divorced and she's giving marriage advice. She's divorced. And if you don't listen to me that I've been divorced, you will divorce too. It takes a lot of gods for you to fail at something and want to teach people to win at the things that you fail at. It takes gods. How many divorced people will sit down and want to help you make your marriage work? Pay attention to people who have failed. If people who have failed are willing to talk, open your ears and learn. That's what it takes to be smart. Please, so that we, we stop this noise in the society today have a marriage. Let's stop making marriage look as if it's, it's bad. Because these days, a lot of you have polluted marriage and a lot of young people are so scared to enter the marriage. Marriage is not a sham. Please, marriage is beautiful, but we keep making wrong choices. We are not intentional. Everything to us is magic, one sharp sharp. It's not magic. Please. With this few points of mine, I hope I've been able to convince and not to confuse you that marriage is not magic. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. To bring, I'll be bringing you guys exclusive, entertaining, interesting relationship, marriage, and life tips. For those of you who want to talk to me privately, don't forget our official number is 070-195-11795. We also have a working office in Lagos and in Enugu. You can walk in and talk to a therapist. All those unanswered questions, you can go ahead and talk to us. You know I love you, right? Anytime, any day, you can call me up and say, bless and see you. I want to talk to you. I got you. Yeah.